wraps up a sunny day of racing here at Penrith Whitewater Stadium as the Australian Open 2012 edition comes to a close and what a great day of finals we started out with the men's k1 and saw sebastian schubert just measure a run to perfection no mistakes he took the title ahead of peter cows the current world champion who looked like he was on fire just a small error at the bottom of his run cost him the win and then the youngster vivian colobero france sneaking into third so great men's final yeah i was a bit surprised that i was so fast in the final but i had a really clean run really fluent, a lot of speed out of the upstreams, and I think that was the point why I make the time. In the women's C1, we saw Jess Fox do the double. She won a medal yesterday in the K1, and today a win in the C1 from Katarina Makova in second from Slovakia, and Ros Lawrence getting third in that event. In a few weeks, another important race for you. How are these next few weeks are going to look like? Um, it'll be back to routine, back to normal, and I guess I'll approach the next race the same way knowing I've still maybe got a bit less pressure but it's not a done deal yet and there's still you know it's still pretty open and I've still got to win another race to secure a spot so it's still quite tough the road ahead but yeah. we'll see. And then of course we finished up with a, a fantastic C2 final with five boats all within two seconds and it was the French pair of Klaus Pesch that took it out ahead of Bozic and Taljar of Slovenia with the British crew of Richard Hounslow and David Florence coming into third. What about your training regime while you're out here in Australia? How long are you staying here in Penrith? Uh, was, we spent here for one month. Uh, we live in two days, come back in France to, to train again and again. And I think it's a good preparation to come here because the sun is shining. Today, <laughs> today, <laughs> not really this year, yeah. but it's really a good, good, um, a good place and a good place to be. It's sick here. And as we draw the curtains on the Australian Open, we look forward quickly to the Oceania Open in two weeks' time, which will be another international event filled with about 20 countries, the best athletes from around the world staying here in Australia for another exciting race and of course the conclusion of the Australian team selection trials to pick the single boat in each category to go to London 2012.